Welcome to Star Signed Horoscopes, presented by Astrology Hub. This is your place to discover how each zodiac sign can work with this week's astrology. I am your host, Jamie McGee, an astrologer, author, and a member of the production team here at Astrology Hub. And I am really excited to dive into this week's astrology with you. Hey guys, welcome to Star Sign Horoscopes. Today we're going to be taking a look at the astrology for April 8th through the 14th. Okay, so when I take a step back and I look at this entire week, it reminds me of a celebration, but I want to explain why, because it may not be for the reason that you think. Okay, so anytime we are celebrating something, we're celebrating an accomplishment, we're celebrating all the sacrifices, the intentions, the goals, the wrong turns and the right turns that have led us to where we are, where we feel really expansive and dreamy and happy, like it all had a purpose, it all had a reason, and I'm so very proud of what we've done, what I've done to get to this point, point. and because you're so excited in this moment, you're also like looking forward to the next journey. You're, you you have the faith that you're going to be able to accomplish it, no matter what the sacrifice is, no matter what right or wrong turn you have to make or people that you bring in or that leave your life, you're going to reach that next celebration. So in this moment, you're very present. You're very excited. And the past and the present are both sitting at the table with you and you're, you're getting ready to go on this next journey. With all that being said, the theme that I have for this week is faded gift. And I do hope we can make that plural for everyone, have faded gifts. But that's how I kind of want to pare down this celebration. And let's explain why. Let's explain what transits are playing into this before we get to the signs. All right. So one of the most notable transits of 2022 is Jupiter conjunct Neptune. And that's happening this week. And the reason that it's notable is because it's once in a lifetime. Like you're not going to see this again. There is a beautiful energy and opportunity that you were born to experience right now. And when you hear that, you can't help but to lean in and kind of really focus on these areas of your life and ask yourself, how can I work with this energy? And we'll talk about that with each of the signs now. And we'll talk about how this energy is both expansive and dreamlike, but how Jupiter focuses on Jupiter is going to expand what you focus on. And though Neptune is very spiritual and has a lot of dreams, it does have a lot of illusion in it too. So having a sense of grounding, like this is where I want to go. And I have the faith that I'm going to get there is, is some pretty good ways that you can work with both these energies. Now this week, we also have Saturn squaring the nodes. So this point of structure and foundation in your life is looking at the past, the resources that you have, and he's looking at the direction that you're going on and he's going to activate these. And so this is a good week to kind of pull from that faith, pull from that hope of that celebration that you have now to say, okay, yeah, I, I've done this before. I can release this and I can move towards this with a lot of faith, a lot of hope that I know that no matter how many wrong turns I take, there will be a course correct. I will get to the other side of this, to my next celebration. This week, we have Mars moving into Pisces too. He's going to, that's not his favorite sign, but he's kind of joining the party. Let's say that and we have a lot of other sextiles that are happening this week. I'm not going to break them down in this opening, but I want to mention them because I want you to notice any suggestions or ideas that come to you this week while you're at this party or at this celebration. They can come from people that are your same age. They could come from younger people or older people. And they're just ideas. And the thing about ideas or suggestions is that you don't have to use them, but often they help you understand or focus on what you do want to do or what suggestion you do want to take. Like they're giving you a seed and you can grow from it. Are they giving you, are they saying something you're like, no, I definitely know I don't want to do that. And if you definitely know you don't want to do that, it helps you kind of, you know, clear the space out and, and go in the direction that you do want to go in. As you can see, it's a very packed celebratory busy kind of energy that's really setting us up for that next chapter. Okay. So with all that being said, let's get ready to dive into the signs because I'm sure you're interested to know how you can work with this energy. Just as a reminder, please be sure to listen to your rising sign and your sun sign so you can get an overall view of how you can work with these themes in a lot of different areas of your life. Okay, guys, let's get started.
Okay, Aries, let's talk about your week. Now, Aries, this once in a lifetime energy that you're going to be working with this week is on a spiritual level or on a subconscious level. It's almost like you're waking up. You're kind of, you're at this brink of stepping into something brand new, but as you're waking up, you're reflecting on all the right turns, the wrong turns, the sacrifices, the good habits, the bad habits, everything, like almost a past lifetime that has led you to where you're standing right now. And what I like about this both expansive energy and this hopeful energy is if you take a moment to really think about it this week, it's going to help you ground into this next dream. It's going to give you hope that even though this next dream looks absolutely perfect, like there's nothing that could possibly be wrong with it, especially after, you know, you've accomplished all this, how could you not, you know, do so well with this area? The reality is there are going to be dark turns and there are going to be misdirections in this new dream, but knowing what you know now, holding on to this moment and saying, you know what, no matter what is coming up, I know I can get through it and I'm going to get through it powerfully. I'm going to break into that journey. It's going to be amazing. That's going to help you in the future. So kind of hone in on that reflection this week. And I think it's going to be a powerful gift that you can take forward. Now, the more grounded energy that you're working with this week is going to be around your dreams. Now, this is an area of your life that you've been really trying to to get some foundations. You're releasing things that weren't serving you anymore, reaching for things that are. But at the same time, you're, you're kind of doing that with people and groups and friends, too. Like, you know, who do you need around you to support your dream? But this area of your life is looking at a legacy that you're a part of, a legacy that you've come from, shared resources like this is your group. And it's a powerful resource, but it's asking you to lean into your own legacy, to create your own legacy, your own, you know, this is my self-esteem. This is my earning power. This is something that's important to me and me alone. And I think that that's beautiful because there's this release, this new chapter is telling you to take that name, take that what you've earned, what you were born with, that legacy, and create your own. That's the invitation that you're looking for this week. And I think that you're going to find a lot of people are open or ready to give you advice. And I I suggest, like I said in my opening, I think it's good to listen to this because there are going to be people who are kind of standing with you who created the legacy that you're a part of. So listen to those suggestions, listen to those ideas and really just get excited about what you're going to do next. Like kind of build into that dream, lean into that hope. And um, I think you're going to have a great week and I hope you do find a lot of beautiful gifts in it. I look forward to seeing you next time, Aries. Okay, Taurus, let's talk about your week. Now, Taurus, this once in a lifetime energy that you're working with is really focused on your dreams, your wishes, your ambitions, and those people who are there to support you. So I love that you have so much faith here, so much hope and expansion in this area. I think it's going to help you with some other areas of your life that may steal your attention or focus, even though you have this expansion going on here. And that has a lot to do with your career, who you're in partner with and your identity. So you're really looking at your purpose. Like this is who I am. This is who, what I'm here for. And you're trying to build new structures and foundations. You've been doing this for a while. This isn't breaking news, but as we move into this week and later into this month, even into this next year, you're really focusing on what partnerships that you need to release so you can find your independence and really dial into your sense of purpose and use that expansive dream and those allies that you have here. So this week, you may feel that activating. You may be looking at your partnerships or things that you are in partner with and asking yourself, how can I use that resource to move forward? Or what partnerships do I need to release so I can move forward? And I think a lot of your answers are going to lie in in that reflective, reflective space that I've invited you to go into in the last couple of weeks, listen to your mind, listen to that gut instinct. Where does you, where do your thoughts go? Where do you feel comfortable? Like deep inside and wherever that is, that's going to help you navigate these decisions that of releasing and reaching and kind of, you know, really honing in on your purpose and how you can dial in to your dream and your wish. Um, with that being said, I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Gemini, let's take a look at your week. 
Now, Gemini, this beautiful celebrating once in a lifetime energy for you is happening around your sense of purpose, your career, that reputation that precedes you. It's a very notable area of your life, which means I think it's going to be hard for you to miss. You're going to feel this energy around your partnerships, that home work life balance, and that overall sense of vitality. Like I'm so excited to step out into the world in this new bold way. Now, speaking of stepping out into the world in a new bold way, you've been working on a new journey, a new conviction, learning something kind of like an expansive, like what's next energy for a long time. And it's been like, it's felt like stop and go, you know, back and forth with this. But as we move into this week and the next couple of weeks, what you're going to notice is that you're going to have to release some habits or re release some things that are in your day-to-day -day routine in order to reach this new journey. You have to release something in order to move forward. And sometimes when you're getting all this stuff flooding in, it, it still is hard to release, especially if it's something that you've done every day and if it's a habit. So I encourage you this week to notice your habits, notice which ones serve you and which ones hold you back. And that could help you make some decisions about where you're going and how you can get there. You're going to be in the mood to kind of talk about how you're feeling and the things that you want to change or things that you're not ready to change. And there's going to be a lot of people this week that are going to ask or offer some advice. And I do suggest that you listen to them. Um, you don't have to take their advice, but I, I think what they have to say is going to help you kind of make these decisions. And you're going to say, you know what? Yeah, it's supposed to be hard to release this. It's supposed to be hard to let go of this, or it's supposed to be hard because what the reward is so great on the other side. And I already know this because I'm experiencing rewards in this area of my life. With that being said, I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Cancer, let's talk about your week. Now, Cancer, this once in a lifetime expansive energy for you is happening in an area of your life that has a lot to do with faith, a lot to do with expanding into a new horizon, taking on a new journey. And in some way this week, it could feel like something bigger than you is coming into your life to kind of help guide you on this new path. And this new path is very transformational. And that's kind of where you have a lot of energy focusing in in your life right now, what you need to release, what you need to reach for, who you want to partner with on a very deep, intimate level, whether that has to do with energy, our emotions, our finances. But from this point in thinking about this new journey, this week, you may find yourself really looking at things that you love, like you really deeply love it or things that you have created. And you're asking yourself what is ready to be released so I can reach this dream, so I can reach this new horizon. And for some of you, it's almost like you're, you're just holding all this beautiful stuff and, and the universe is asking you to share it. And I don't want to say that you've been holding back or you're like you haven't been sharing it, but there's a talent here that's ready to be shared. And there's an invitation for you to share it. But I think it could, I understand just as being a creator or having things that you love, even if you didn't, no matter what it is, if you love it, it's going to be hard to release it or to say, well, I don't want to use this to move forward, but that's the invitation. You're in a transformational place. There's a brand new guiding energy on a new horizon that says, use, use your heart to reach your dream and you'll make it. All right. I do hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Leo, let's take a look at your week. Now, the area of your life that is going to be impacted by this once in a lifetime energy is the area that's focused on transformation and deep intimacies and shared resources. So this may be the week that you hear that, you know, the grant came through or the investor is there or the loan is paid off or you're free from one thing so you can move into something new. And I love that. I think it's very powerful and it's going to help support you with some of the more outward focus energy that you may be feeling this week, because this week you're going to have some partnerships. They're going to ask you to really kind of look at things that you're rooted in, that you're attached to. And then these partnerships may ask you to release some things like something in your roots around your home base in order to reach your sense of purpose, that direction, um, that reputation that precedes you, your career. 
Like you have to release something that you're comfortable with in order to reach this and partnerships are going to be pointing that out to you. But at the same time, you have this powerful transformational energy that's saying, you know what, we've done it before. We know how to grow through this. And yes, we can honor the past and reach for the future and really find a solid ground at the same time. But that being said, I don't want to think, I don't want to tell you everything's going to be beautiful. Just release it and go on. There's a process. There's a process in letting go and there's a process in reaching. And I think that what I like for you is that this, this Jupiter Neptune energy for you is shining a light on your, on an area of your life that helps you understand that there's a silver lining to that process. There is a light as you awaken from the dark night of the soul. And and that's what you're working with right now. You're releasing things so you can move these pivotal public areas of your life into a new chapter. But I do hope you have a beautiful week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look at your week. Now, Virgo, this once in a lifetime energy for you is happening around your partnerships. They do not necessarily have to be romantic. They could be, but they're one-on-one relationships. But because of where this is in your life, it automatically impacts your reputation, where you feel secure and grounded, your roots and your overall vitality. I think it's going to be hard to miss a very noticeable energy that you should celebrate. Now, I mentioned last week, I think it's worth mentioning again, you want to use discernment, but not too much of it. You want to make sure that you have your identity, that you're able to be who you really are in this relationship, because that's going to be the magic. That's going to be the magic that helps it grow and expand expand, be present and relax. And if you can be who you are, it's perfect. It's magic. There's a lot of faith and a lot of hope that's going to flood into this and those other areas of your life. Now, speaking of other areas of your life in your day-to-day routines, you're really looking at structures and foundations. You're asking yourself, how can I really work with this energy to kind of go in this new direction, go to this new horizon more boldly. And I think Virgo, honestly, the answer is you have to release the past. There's something in your mindset, something that you've been telling yourself, something that you've let other people around you in your local environment say to you that may be holding you back. So I would let go of those haunting whispers or those haunting thoughts. That's what needs to be released. So you can reach for this new direction. But hopefully you have a lot of great partners and a lot of support that will help you release that as you work through this week too. I hope you have a good one. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Libra, let's take a look at your week. Now, Libra, this once in a lifetime energy this week for you is happening in the area of your life that has to do with what you do every day, your day-to-day rhythms, what you do in service to others and around your health. So I love that there's a beautiful healing invitation that's flooding in for you, healing insights, healing mindsets, healing of your body, a balance in this rhythm. Because if you have balance and harmony in what you do every day, it's gonna help you make decisions with a clearer mind about other areas of your life. And this week, you may have a lot of attention focused around things that you love unconditionally, something you've created or a romantic relationship. You're trying to put a lot of structure and timelessness around this area of your life. But in order to do that, you do have to surrender some things in order to step deeper into the transformation. And that's the invitation that's kind of flooding around for you this week. And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to offer you advice. They could be older people or people that are the same age as you. They're saying, you know what, I've been there or you know what, if you go there and whatever insights they bring to you, I don't think it will hurt to listen to them. Do you have to take their advice? Absolutely not. But these ideas are going to help you kind of say, okay, yes, I'm ready for this transformation. Yes, I do think I should release this in order to go in that direction. Overall, Libra, I do hope you have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Scorpio, let's take a look at your week. Now, Scorpio, this week's once in a lifetime energy for you is happening around love in the area of your life that has to do with things you love unconditionally, your creativity. This could be children. It could be romantic. It could be things that you have created or do for joy. No matter what it is, Scorpio, I definitely encourage you to lean into this expansion, to lean into this optimism and this inspiration. Because I think if you hold this, It's going to really help you work with a lot of pivotal changes that are also happening in your life at the same time. 
Because right now, Scorpio, you're really looking at finding a lot of strength in your roots and your foundation. And as you find that strength in your roots and your foundation, you're finding that you have to release some things in order to reach for stronger partnerships that really help you support your overall sense of purpose. So it's a really interesting kind of energy that you have such a bloom around your heart and these changes that are being activated in more outwardly ways at the same time. Now, I do think that your day-to-day day routines are still going to be very active and very busy as you work through these shifts. But this week, I really hope that you look for, or you find that sense of being on purpose and on time, because that's what this energy is kind of laying out for you, that everything is unfolding as it should. You're releasing and gaining at the same time. And it's, it's all part of the growth. It's all part of the beautiful heart and expansion and faith that you're working with. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Okay, Sagittarius, let's take a look at your week. Now, this week's once in a lifetime energy that really speaks to both expansion and hope for you is happening in a very pivotal part of your life. This is around your home, your roots and your foundation. Now, because you're feeling it here, you're definitely going to notice it in your partnerships, your career, your sense of purpose, your overall vitality. This is a very powerful energy. Now, I encourage you to lean into the, the expansion, to lean into the optimism, to look for the opportunities at the same time, because this energy is so pivotal. I also encourage you to lean into discernment when you're making decisions. Now, this week, luckily, you have some support with this area, because right now you've been look, working on a lot of structure and, and how you communicate, how you communicate with people you see every day, using that internal wisdom, kind of pulling that message out and applying it to your work and to your message. So this week, even though you have a lot of outward energy focused, I definitely encourage you to listen to that internal navigation, that internal wisdom, ask yourself, what do you need to communicate? What do you need to hold back? How can what you're doing now serve you in the long run. If you think through things behind the scenes, if you kind of listen to suggestions around you, that's going to really help you mo make the most of all this outward, beautiful expansion that you have going in all these other areas of your life. I do hope you have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, Capricorn, let's take a look at your week. Now, Capricorn, this week's once in a lifetime energy for you is going to be around communication. I honestly think that you may find that you are flooded with inspiration, a lot of great ideas, and even better, once you share these ideas, you're going to notice that your words have a lot of power behind them, that they are healing, that they call people to you. They bring beauty and they bring harmony. And as you work with this powerful source of communication, that's going to help you really use some discernment around how you can support things that you love unconditionally, things that bring forth more creativity, that really support love in your life. And as you work with these energies this week, we are building towards a full moon that's going to help you hone in and focus on your sense of purpose and your identity. So I love how empowered your words are this week. And I love that you have so much inspiration that's going to help inspire people around you. And I definitely encourage you to use that. And I hope you have a good week. I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, hey, Aquarius, let's take a look at your week. Now, Aquarius, this week's once in a lifetime energy is happening around your self-esteem. It's happening around your resources and your earning power. We've already talked about all this expansive growth that you have here. This week, you may know, may notice a, a renewed sense of optimism or hope or an idea, or you're like, you know what? I have this dream and I have this expansion and I have these resources. I'm going to go for it. I definitely think that you are empowered to do so, but I will say say what I said last week. If you're making an investment, big or small, you just want to consider, you know, do you love it today? And will you love it in five years? And will you love it in the long run? And the reason that I'm saying that is I do think that a lot of you will be making investments around your home, or around your roots and around your foundations. And those are long term, long term decisions. So make sure you Give yourself some time to kind of think about these decisions. And if it feels right, definitely go for it. There's no reason not to. Now, with that being said, speaking of changes, you have some more outward energy that may steal your attention this week. 
you're, you've been working on your overall identity and the structure of your vitality and your life. You've noticed that you've had to release things to kind of step into the new you, and you're still in the process of that. But this week you may be called to kind of release, you know, an old, an, like almost an old reputation. People know you as this person, but you're growing into this person. So you can really connect back into your roots and who you really are. It's an interesting kind of energy this week. I think that you may find that you're shedding old reputations. You're shedding an old sense of purpose and connecting deeper into something that's really valuable to you. And that's going to help you grow and expand in a powerful way. I think that's also going to help you really um, hone in on how to use these resources, how to use Use this abundance of self-esteem and encouragement that you have flooding in this week. It's, it's a very interesting one. And I do hope you have a great one. I'll see you next time. Okay, Pisces, let's talk about your week. Now, Pisces, if there's a celebration this week, you're definitely the one hosting the party. Both Jupiter and Neptune are going to meet in your sign. Now, we've been talking for a long time about this expansive, beautiful energy that you're working with right now around your identity, your vitality, your purpose, your partnerships, your home, your roots, all those foundational pieces in every space in between. This week, that may feel like it's kicking up a notch, like you're going to be presented with more opportunities to expand, or you're going to have more inspiration about how you can work with everything that is expanding and growing for you right now. Now, this energy is very powerful, so I definitely encourage you to focus on what you do want to grow, not what you don't want to grow, because that's where this energy will flow. And I also think that this week, you're going to have an invitation, you know, because you're getting excited, you're getting excited to go on this new journey. But you're going to have an invitation to share about the journey that you just completed. You've been learning something, you've been mastering something, and now you have someone who wants you to communicate it, or you have an opportunity to take this inner wisdom that you've probably been holding silently, just kind of working through on your own and share it with other people. And I think you may be a little shy about that. You may not be ready to share it. You may feel like you still need to be the student right now, and you're not ready to be the teacher or the communicator. But I think the universe is asking you to go through that transition. And that may be the most uncomfortable part of this week or this energy that you're working with. But overall, I just encourage you to lean into the opportunities, use discernment, focus on what you do want to grow. And I think that you're going to definitely find that this is a time period that you are always going to remember. I hope you have a good week. I'll see you next time. Okay, guys, that is everyone. I do hope you have a fantastic week that you found some great insights to help you work with our theme, which is faded gift. It should be a rememberable week, no matter what. All right. And just as a reminder, guys, if you would like to get a timestamp email sent to you each week, so all you have to do is go right to your sun sign or your rising sign. All you have to do is go to astrologyhub.com forward slash star signs, and we will be sure to send that to you. Okay. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for listening to Astrology Hub Star Sign Horoscopes. If you'd like to easily jump to your personal horoscope, sign up to get a timestamp star sign episode emailed to you each Friday. Go to astrologyhub.com forward slash star signs and sign up now. That's astrologyhub.com forward slash star signs.